What's a candy you never have been able to get on board with? Those cheap hollow chocolate figurines of Santa, the Easter Bunny, ETC, that you get on holidays. Fear usually made from the worst quality chocolate, so thin that it just crumbles into itself when you bite into it or break a piece off. And there isn't even that much chocolate since it's hollow. The lint kinds are pretty good though. Wax lips. They taste like wax. Those shoot ass generic things from trick or treat bags of yesteryear. I never knew what they were because the orange or black wax paper wrappers were blank. They were hard chewy and dense. Not in a good way. And most of the time when you unwrap them, the candy had fused to part of the wrapper so you were eating some wax paper as you chewed up this and satisfying nugget of dental filling thievery. Each year you'd get down to the dregs of your bag and all that was left were these and plain mini Hershey's. And when even the plain mini Hershey's were gone you still didn't want these. But you'd try one anyway like it had gotten better since last year but it hadn't. And one was all it took and you threw out the rest of them and wished you could remember which old person neighbor house gave these crap things out so you could skip them next year. Garbage candy. This is a magnificent description. I've read some horror stories about sugar free gummy bears. So I naturally avoid them at all costs. Their demeanor is inviting. But beware. The secret is to eat the entire 5 pounds bag. Helps train your body's digestive system to properly handle them. Unlabeled chocolates. You mean sugary wax with a hint of cocoa anus? Those dot candies on the parchment paper. I inadvertently end up eating mostly the parchment paper. They made me feel like I was in Wantland. Gene Wilder version. Freaking circus peanuts. What the hell is wrong with people? I've seen this twice now. The candy hearts that you get around Valentine's Day. Sugar flavored chalk. I'm out. I'm pretty sure they're made of ground up bones. That ribbon candy in grandma's dish with an inch of dust on it. Your grandma doesn't dust her ribbon candy. Has she no shame? That goo that came in a clear toothpaste tube. I have no idea if they even make it anymore. But it was everywhere in the 90s. You have unlocked a distant memory. Ha. Huh. Also reminds me of those purple and green colored ketchups. The 90s were an interesting time. Black licorice. I'm from Japan. We eat bunch of out there stuff but this I can't get on board with. If they had presented it as some kind of medicine I might have been okay with it. Edit. Never have I ever imagined black licorice to be the reason for my first awards. Thank you kind people on reddit. Colon. My wife likes double salted black licorice. Tastes like chewing on a bike tire. Good and plenty. It's sold everywhere. Yet I've never seen anyone buy it. Maybe I'm the only person under 60 who actually likes these. Edit. I love all the responses. For reference. Circus Peanuts, my dog, who will literally eat goose shoot off the sidewalk, found a circus peanut on the sidewalk after Halloween and spat it out after grabbing it, jujubes, tiny, semi hard, and stuck in all your teeth, I love jujubes for some odd reason, queen and chocolate covered cherries filled w snot and the shriveled hearts of politicians, disgusting, I used to love these things, chocolates with fruit filling, it always ruins the chocolate for me, that's okay. Just set those ones aside for me. Thrills. Purple gum that tastes like fricking dish soap. Frick right off. I had never heard of it. So I type thrills gum in Google. One of the first suggestions is thrills gum why. Nestle chunky. Because frick raisins. And frick Nestle too. I want to agree with you because I hate raisins but my grandma used to keep them in the house and she would give them to us as a secret treat. You know when grandmas say don't tell your mum I gave this to you. It's the most special treat ever. My grandma was a tough cookie and kept everyone on point but her soft spot was bringing us in for a special treat every time we were at her house. Miss that lady and wish I could have known her as an adult. Spice flavored jelly beans. My grandmother always put them in our Easter basket and they were disgusting. The old school flavored jelly beans, like the pink one taste like old lady perfume, that was horrible. Samiaki, as if black licorice weren't bad enough by itself. The Nordic peoples, for some insane reason, decided to add salt to it, not just ordinary salt. Mind you, no, whoppers are just sawdust covered with chocolate flavored wax. You should try Maltesers. Black licorice, root beer flavored hard candies, the candy hearts that are given around Valentine's Day, sugar daddies, you don't like root beer barrels, candy corn, Necco wafers, how are these popular, 
I guess back then it was 100% socially acceptable to beat your kids. But child abuse via Neko wafer is too much. The biggest problem with Neko wafers is they seem like they should be good. I love sweetets and smarties and all of that chalky, crunchy candy, circus peanuts and peeps. I agree about peeps. Dots. They are basically glue designed to pull your teeth out. Bro I freaking love dots. So does my dentist. Those orange marshmallow peanuts. I think they are called circus peanuts and they gross me out. Neko wafers. Chalky wedding mints. I had a bad experience with them when I was 5. I ate way, way too many of them and cake and punch at my mother's third wedding. I woke up in the middle of the night and vomited all over. Dang third wedding at 5. Red Hots. No. I love Red Hots. Twizzlers. All my friends loved them as a kid and I remember kids coveting the ones I'd bring in after Halloween. I just gave them away because they taste like chewy wax to me. That purple ass gum. Did a secret Santa at work this year and we filled out a short survey to help. The girl I got listed the following under favorite candy. Tootsie Rolls Racin' It's Whoppers I cannot look at her the same since. That chili flavored ball. Hate that fricker so much I don't even care to remember the name or may add it. Chili Rockers Tamarindo is that horrendous monstrosity. Turkish delights. But they're good enough to sell your whole family out for some. Valentine Candy Hearts. The texture and taste are unbearable for me. Black licorice tastes like something straight out of a witch's cauldron. Anything banana flavored. I've read that they're supposed to mimic the taste of a type of banana that is now extinct due to a blight that wiped them out. I say God wiped them out for a reason. Twizzlers taste like 90s cough syrup and your taste is bad. Not the candy as a whole but specifically green apple skittles. The lime was so much better. Especially with the other flavors. I like candy, but not good and plenty. Candy corn definitely on the list. Tootsie roll and that red candy that tastes and looks like candle. Twizzlers. Came here for Tootsie Rolls. Circus peanuts. Black licorice shudder. Now and laters. It looks like a starburst so I want to chew it. But it's super hard. Yet somehow. It's still not quite hard candy hard and actually bends gives if you work at it just a little too hard to be comfortable doing it. Those unnamed hard candies with the strawberry wrapper and filling. Edit. They are called granny candies. So what's it like being wrong? All the Hershey's chocolate tastes like vomit. Black licorice. Anything with bugs in it. Swedish fish and those horrid peeps candies. My goodness those things are nasty. Swedish fish was one of the first candies I've ever tried at a local corner store with my dad in second grade. Love em. Cadbury creme eggs. Used to love them as a kid. Tried them later as an adult and I wanted slap my kid self. Yuck. Peeps. They look so awful. Bottle caps. Might as well be eating chalk. Black jelly beans. Any candy that's spicy. To me it's just a terrible combo. Cheap chocolate is freaking awful. Can't understand why it's such a staple candy in the us. Black jelly beans. Licorice. Butterfingers. Just get stuck in your teeth. Candy corn. Peeps. Black licorice. And circus peanuts. Razzles. Also anything cinnamon or spicy is a no from me. The worst thing is cinnamon stuff and cherry candy can look really similar so it can be a gamble on if I'll love it or spit it out immediately. Literally anything grape flavored. Just tastes like medicine to me. Peeps has been the only thing on this list I can agree with. Ashamed and going to take all these candies to my room. Hershey's it isn't classified as chocolate in most countries. Peeps. Nauseated face. Six lits are disgusting. Sorry. Buttered popcorn jelly bellies. Candy cane. Mexican candies. I have no idea how a people who have perfected regular food have such horrible taste. Tamarind and chili powder is not a candy. Laffy Taffy. Elite it if given it but will never buy it on my own. And M&Ms. I just find M&Ms rather unappealing. The ones with peanuts are okay but all others are just gross. But, to be fair, milk chocolate is gross to me in general. Also, unpopular opinion. But I find black licorice to be really good and think it is one of the best candies. Almond joys or mounds. Really boils down to not enjoying coconut. Rasanets who ever thought that grape jerky would improve chocolate.